It's well known that grapes and raisins are toxic to dogs, but did you know that grapes are also not safe for cats to eat either? We don't know why grapes are poisonous to pets, but the risks they pose are serious. You're likely familiar with the fact that grapes and dogs do not get along. While the exact cause of canine grape toxicity remains unknown and it appears that not every dog is susceptible to illness, the message from experts is crystal clear, it's not safe to feed dogs grapes. But what about cats? Can your feline friend safely eat grapes? The answers might surprise you. Are grapes safe for cats to eat? In this case, it pays to pay attention to Fido both grapes and raisins are a forbidden fruit for cats, though mostly as a precaution. We teamed up with the University of Missouri Small Animal Clinical Nutrition Service in Columbia, Mo, to find out why grapes, as well as raisins, aren't safe for cats. Their team describes the risk as having the potential for acute kidney injury meaning it's possible for animals who've eaten grapes or raisins to develop kidney failure. The research itself as to whether grapes and raisins are as toxic to cats as they are to dogs is still something of a gray area. The Clinical Nutrition Service says that while the toxicity has only been documented in dogs as of yet, feeding them to cats is still not recommended. Why are grapes such a threat to pets? Answering exactly why grapes aren't safe for cats, or dogs, for that matter, isn't yet possible, as the specific way their toxicity affects the animals' bodies remains a mystery. According to the Merck Veterinary Manual, the main injury in dogs seems to be in the kidney cells, and some dogs who've eaten grapes or raisins have developed kidney failure. While there's currently only anecdotal evidence of kidney failure in cats, and in ferrets, too, it's enough to lead veterinarians to advise against sharing the fruit with felines. Because grape toxicity hasn't yet been officially documented in cats, much of the information on grape toxicity in cats is anecdotal evidence, as it actually pertains to dogs there simply isn't enough research on how grapes affect cats. That said, these facts still demonstrate the seriousness of the illness, and why it's best to keep both Fido and Fluffy from eating grapes. How many grapes or raisins does it take to make a cat sick? Unfortunately, we just don't know how many grapes or raisins it would take to poison a cat. Some cats who ingest grapes might not ever actually show signs of kidney failure, but the risks are just too great. The safest approach is to avoid letting your cat eat any grapes or raisins since the precise amount of grapes or raisins it takes to make cats, and dogs, sick is unknown. What kinds of grapes should cats avoid? The Pet Poison Helpline says all grapes and raisins, seeded slash seedless, organic or conventionally grown, purple or green, etc., can cause toxicosis in pets. Grape and raisin products should also be avoided, including grape juice, raisin bread, cookies and protein bars containing raisin paste, and breads made with raisin juice. What are the clinical signs of grape toxicosis? According to the Merck Veterinary Manual, the majority of dogs with grape or raisin toxicosis experience vomiting or diarrhea within 6 to 12 hours of eating the fruit. Other clinical signs include lethargy, loss of appetite, increased thirst, stomach pain, weakness, dehydration, and tremors. Kidney failure develops within 3 days. In some cases, the kidneys shut down and stop producing urine. Most dogs who reach this point don't survive. What should I do if my cat eats grapes? If you know or suspect that your cat has eaten grapes or raisins, call your veterinarian or the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center, 888-426-4435, immediately. You don't need to wait until you see clinical signs to seek help. Grape toxicosis is a progressive illness, so the sooner you treat it, the better. How is grape toxicosis treated? There's no antidote for grape toxicosis in pets. The first step is to remove the toxic food from their system, which is typically achieved by getting the animal to vomit. Your veterinarian will advise on how best to do this depending on when your pet ingested the grape or raisin, and how many were eaten. Once they've thrown up, your vet may administer a dose of activated charcoal, which acts like a magnet that attracts toxic substances and carries them through the gastrointestinal tract and out of the body. It's possible your vet will recommend four fluids if your pet has eaten large amounts of grapes or raisins, or if they've developed vomiting or diarrhea within 12 hours of eating the toxic substances. Other supportive therapies, such as medication and monitoring may be necessary, depending on the cat's symptoms. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. It pays for your cat to be picky. Cats are notoriously picky when it comes to food, but this could actually be a benefit when it comes to toxic substances. It's relatively uncommon for us to see a food-related toxicity in cats, the Clinical Nutrition Service says. That's more of a dog problem. 
Cats tend to be less trusting of new food items than their canine counterparts, which could in part explain why there isn't data on feline grape toxicity. It pays for you to be picky too. Grapes and raisins share their toxic designation with several other human foods, and unfortunately, the current list probably isn't exhaustive. The Clinical Nutrition Service points out that there are plenty of food items that have not undergone peer-reviewed studies determining their toxicity. So take a cue from your cat and be cautiously picky about what you feed him. It's always a good idea to talk to your veterinarian before adding any new human foods even those on the safe list for cats to eat. Can cats eat fruit? There is a silver lining though. In general, cats are not particularly interested in fruit due to being obligate carnivores. Fruits are not problematic for cats although most won't really eat the fruit in any quantity, Gary Richter, DVM, owner and medical director of Montclair Veterinary Hospital in Oakland, California, and Holistic Veterinary Care, tells Rover. There are some fruits that are not toxic to cats. Strawberries or bananas are okay in small doses if your cat is watching you with interest, while others are not okay for a variety of reasons. Besides grapes, here is a list of fruits that cats should stay away from. Citrus, all citrus contains some level of citric acid, which can cause central nervous system issues in large enough doses, it causes stomach upset in smaller amounts, according to the ASPCA. Raisins and currants, toxic to cats, according to the ASPCA. Coconut or coconut oil, technically a seed, but we'll include it here, coconut can cause an upset stomach in cats, for the ASPCA. The general issue of feeding fruit to a cat is the sugar and carbohydrate content. Experts suggest that cats should only eat 10% carbohydrates per day. Since they are not going to eat large amounts of fruit anyway, the sugar content is not a major concern. Alternative Healthy Snacks If you'd like to avoid fruit altogether, try vegetables instead. Pet owners can always try to give vegetables to cats in food or treats. Not all will eat them, Dr. Richter says. There certainly are good nutrients in vegetables when part of a balanced meal. These veggies are not toxic to cats, according to the ASPCA. Zucchini. Celery, they love the crunch. Carrots, green bell peppers, spinach, peas, often found in many prepackaged foods for cats and dogs as a vitamin-filled addition. Pumpkin, pumpkin is used often as a way to get fiber in your cat's diet. Broccoli. Notoriously, most cats aren't exactly keen on new foods. If you want them to try something new for a little variety in their diet, introduce them to it sparingly. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.